let me show you the easiest way to solve this type of question um we are asked to solve for a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 11 this is what we need we need a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 multiplied by a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 to get this why do i say that recall that the law of indices or exponents we are told that a to the power of 5 multiplied by a to the power of 6 that is if you have the same base in law of exponents you are going to pick one base once they are multiplying then you add the power you can see that we will get what a to the power of 11 which is this similarly if you multiply this by this we get what a b to the power of 11 so everything we are going to do now we are going to concentrate on how to get a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 and a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 so let's do this together first we need a b yes you are going to see why and to get a b we are going to square this first equation so let's call this equation one and this equation two so if i square equation one all right i'm going to have what a plus b squared okay is equal to one squared now this is what algebra identity what does a plus b squared in algebra identity stand for what it is equal to is what a squared plus b squared plus 2ab all right is equal to one squared we give you one now recall that a squared plus b squared is equal to two so that means you are going to replace this with what two plus two a b is equal to one now recall that i told you that we need a b so that is exactly why we had to square this now we are going to do what to find to to get our a b we need to bring two a b out right all right now 2ab is equal to 1 then this is plus 2 it will cross to become minus 2 so this implies that 2ab is equal to minus 1 all right now to make get ab we need to divide both sides of this equation by 2 so when we do that we are going to have that 2 we cancel to right this is what we have 2ab is equal to minus 1 over 2 so let's divide this side by Sorry, what we have is 2ab. That is in case if you cannot see here. What we have is 2ab is equal to minus 1. Then we are going to divide both sides by what? 2. And when we do that, we have that our ab is equal to minus 1 over 2. This is a very important equation. So let's call it equation 3. Now we have found our ab. Recall that I said that we need what? We need a to the power of 5, right? How do we get a to the power of 5? If we have a to the power of 2, to get a to the power of 5, we need a to the power of 3. Yes, because when we multiply this a to the power of 2 by a to the power of 3, according to the law of indices, we are going to get what? a to the power of 5. So that means we need to cube this to get a to the power of 3, since we have a to the power of 2 already. So equation 1 cubed is going to give us what? a plus b raised to the power of 3 is equal to 1 raised to the power of 3. In algebra, this is same thing as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus 3a squared b plus 3b squared a, all right, is equal to 1. Because 1 to the power of 3 will still give you 1. I want to stand there because it's better for me this way. All right, but we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. That is what we are looking for, right? Plus, now we can factorize this as what? 3ab multiplied by now 3a squared b divided by this we give us what 1a remaining plus 3b squared a divided by this we give us what 1b remaining is equal to 1 so we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus 3 brackets recall that our a b is minus 1 over 2 right minus 1 over 2 bracket a plus b is equal to 1 is equal to 1, yeah, according to this equation. So we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus, so this is going to be minus 3 over 2, right? This is going to be minus 3 over 2 is equal to 1. All right, permit me to draw this line. Now, we can transfer this to the other side of the equation. So we are going to have that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to 1. Now, this minus we cross become plus 3 over 2. Okay? 
So we have a to the power of three plus b to the power of three is equal to if we we if we use I want to use a shortcut to solve this. So if we use butterfly method, we are going to have this times this will give us the denominator, which is two. Now we are going to cross multiply. One times two will give us two plus three times one will give us three. So we have a to the power of three plus b to the power of three is equal to five over two. Now we have gotten a to the power of three plus b to the power of three. Now let's call this equation four. Recall why we are looking for this because we want to get a to the power of five, right? Now, perfect, we have uh, a to the power of three plus b to the power of three. So let's multiply equation four by equation two to get a to the power of five. So we have equation two multiplied by equation four. So it's going to be a squared plus b squared, right? A squared plus b squared multiplied by a to the power of three plus b to the power of three is equal to two times five over two. Two multiplied by five over two. So if we expand this, we are going to have a to the power of two times a to the power of three is going to be a to the power of two plus three, which is five. All right? Plus a to the power of two multiplied by b to the power of three will give us a squared b cubed. Plus b squared times this will give us b squared a cubed. Plus b squared times b to the power of three will give us b to the power of five. Right? Is equal to this, we divide this, we have 5 remaining. So we now have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5, which is what we are looking for. Okay, now look at this. We have a squared b squared in common here. So let's factorize. When this is divided by this, we have b remaining. So b plus, when this is divided by this, we have a remaining. Is equal to 5. Now let's substitute. So we have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 plus. Now this same thing as what? a b squared, right? Multiplied by b plus a is equal to 5. Okay. Whew. Let's come to this side of the equation. All right. But before that, we, go, we need a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. So let me write it somewhere a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to, what did we get that? Is equal to 5 over 2. Okay, now I can clean this. Now I can clean it. Okay, so let's continue. Now this is what we have. a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5. So we have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5. Oh, let me turn like this so that my writing will be okay. So we have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 plus, now recall that our ab is minus 1 over 2, yes? So we're going to have minus 1 over 2 squared, okay? Bracket b plus a is 1 is equal to 5. So we have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 minus 1 squared will give you 1 and 2 squared will give you 4. This times 1 will still give you 1 over 4 is equal to 5. So we have that a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5, which is what we are looking for, is equal to 5 minus 1 over 4. All right. So a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 is equal to, let's use our shortcut as well. 4 times 1 is 4. That is our denominator. Let's cross multiply. 5 times 4 is 20 minus 1 times 1 is 1. So we have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 is 19 over 4. Perfect. So this is our equation 5. Now, we have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5. Recall that all we have been doing is to get a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 and a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6, right? And we can actually get a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 if we should square a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. Yes. So recall that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to 5 over 2. Yes, I wrote it somewhere. Recall. Now let's continue from here. Let us continue. Let us continue. Okay. So we are going to square. Okay. 
let's square this so if we do that we have a to the power of three plus b to the power of three squared is equal to five over two squared perfect now when you have two numbers squared you know how it is now so it's going to be a to the power of three squared which is going to be a to the power of three squared plus b to the power of three squared b to the power of three squared plus two what a to the power of three b to the power of three two times a to the power of three b to the power of three is equal to now five squared will give us 25 and two squared will give us four okay so we have a to the power of three times two will give you six okay plus b to the power of three times two will give you six which is what we are looking for okay plus two a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, same thing as a, b raised to the power of 3, is equal to 25 over 4. So we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 plus 2 brackets. Recall that our a, b is minus 1 over 2, right? Minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 25 over 4. Please pardon the shadow, okay? Pardon the shadow. All right, so we continue a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 plus 2 brackets. Now, minus 1 to the power of 3 will give you minus 1. And 2 to the power of 3 will give you 8. Is equal to 25 over 4. So, we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6. Now, 2 times minus... and uh, Let's divide through. We have 4, right? So, it's going to be minus 1 over 4. Minus 1 over 4 is equal to 25 over 4. Perfect. So we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 is equal to 25 over 4. Now minus 1 over 4 we cross to become plus 1 over 4. All right. Now we have that a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 is equal to, we have the same denominator. So we can just add the powers. 25 plus 1 will give us 26. Now if we reduce this, we are going to have what? Um, 13 over 2 in its lowest term. Now, this is the main thing. But before that, if you have watched to this stage, that means that you truly enjoy what I'm doing. So please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Now, back to what we are doing. We have gotten our A to the power of 6 and we have gotten our A to the power of 5. So let's multiply them together to get what we are asked to get so we are going to solve now so this is our a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 so we are going to multiply equation 5 and equation 6 so if we do that we will have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 multiplied by a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 is equal to 19 over 4 multiplied by 13 over 2 okay so it's going to be 19 over 4 multiplied by 13 over 2. Multiplied by 13 over 2. Okay. All right. Now let's expand. Let's expand. If we do that, we will have a to the power of 5 times a to the power of 6. We now give us a to the power of 5 plus 6, which is 11, plus a to the power of 5 times b to the power of 6 is a to the power of 5b to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 5a to the power of 6, b to the power of 5a to the power of 6, plus b to the power of 5b to the power of 6, which is b to the power of 11, is equal to, now, 19 times 13. Let's solve that. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 times 9 is 9. And 1 times 1 is 1. So we are going to have 2... 47 right so it's going to be 247 over 8 all right so we have a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 plus now we can factorize what a to the power of 5 b to the power of 5 here and when we open the bracket when this is divided by this one b will remain and when this is divided by this one a will remain is equal to 247 over 8 all right, so we continue. So we now have a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 
plus this same thing as what a b raised to the power of five right multiplied by b plus a is equal to two four seven over eight so we have a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 plus now our a b is minus one over two minus one over two raised to the power of five and b plus a is one is equal to two four seven over eight all right so we have a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. Now minus 1 to the power of 5 is still minus 1. So plus in brackets minus 1 over 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Is equal to 2, 4, 7 over 8. So a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 should be equal to 2, 4, 7 over 8. Now minus this we cross to become plus 1 over 32. Now we solve that a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 is equal to, now the LCM of this is what, 32. Now, um, when 32 is divided by 8, you'll have 4. 4 times 2, 4, 7. 2, 4, 7 times 4. 4 times 7, 28. 4 times 4, 16 plus 2, 18. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. So we have 9, 8, 8, okay? Plus 32 divided by 32, we give us 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we have a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 is 989 over 32. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and...